MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Simon, we're back at Matsura this morning. We're looking at the Nagata BT50 Horizontal Machining Center. How does this fit into the portfolio of Matsura products? We've been working with Nagata for around 10 years now. There's a slight overlap between the Matsura and Nagata product ranges, whereby the Matsura range stops at a 630 and 800 millimeter pallet machines, whereas the Nagata starts at 500 millimeter pallet running through to a much larger 1.6 meter pallet version. So heavy duty, so the HN63E, what's the sort of specification? Well, the purpose with the, of the HN range is to be a box guideway, rigid, structured machine. It is 900 Newton meters of torque, 6,000 RPM. It's designed specifically for hard materials, heavy metal, titaniums and such like. Would it be fair to say it's not a subcontractor's machine, it's an equipment manufacturer's machine? Potentially, but it's a sub, if it's a subcontractor, it's somebody who has enough workload to keep heavy metal work running continuously. And we see with lots of machines, builders try to build a machine that fits into various uh, capabilities, but this isn't that, is it? It is focused very much on heavy duty machining. No, as you described, Matsura, we do exactly the same. You have a machine that is light and fast and nimble enough to be aluminium cutting, but equally it's got a little bit of rigidity in so it can do the hard metal work. Nigata don't do that. Nigata only make horizontal machines. They don't do five axis, they don't do vertical. So they split the range quite simple. They say SPN machines give you very high speed, very high power, very high performance. Whereas this, the HN, is the other way. It is very heavy duty. So it's a super precision machine, but how, how do you achieve that? Okay, well, Nigata took the principle of their previous HN range and they looked for how they needed to modify that to make it stronger. They increased the thickness of the base some 25%. They took the pitch of the box guideways and moved them outbound, outboard by around 30%, effectively much reducing the triangulation point between back guideways and spindle. Whatever type of material you're cutting, this type of machine will be able to do it. Yes, and of course, it's easy from a, from a specification or a brochure's perspective to create a machine and have a high power spindle and, and big headline performance figures. But with this machine, the idea is that you can actually use the power. Now, I mentioned about subcontractors or equipment manufacturers, but what sort of components or parts would you be ideally making on this type of machine? Typically, these machines get used in the aerospace sector for uh, titanium structural components, aero engines for blade type work, and the heavier duty applications where you're into uh, construction equipment, gearboxes, differentials uh, for the construction industry. And that would lead me into saying people can see this machine here, but I believe you've got an event coming up uh, in November. Yes, we have an open house, uh, one of our think events, where we try to challenge the thought processes of people and we focus the event. This, this year it is around thinking about cost down, uh, efficiency improvements. Basically, the only reason we make parts is to make a profit. So that's where we're thinking of where is the value in the production process. And I'm interested to know more about the facing centres. Yes, on the larger machines, the HN80 and above, the Nagata also offer a full-driven U-axis, integrated U-axis facing head with a bar-quill combination as well. Ideal for scroll facing and, and internal bores, external turning, overturning, all as part of a machine centre functionality. And that's an option with this machine? It's an option with the larger machines, yes. Not the 630, but the larger machines, 800 and above, yes. So to conclude this then, Simon, for our viewers, just let's summarise on the spec of the machine. It's a BT50 big plus face and taper contact spindle with 901 newton meters of torque running 6,000 RPM and attached to a box guideway heavy duty structure. And let's not forget the automated part of this machine. It's a twin pallet machine. If somebody said, I wanted a bigger machine than what you've got here, can you do that? Of course, if somebody wants to put bespoke automation in front of the machine, that of course is possible. And going up, but this is the biggest, sort of the baby of the, of the range, 800 pallet, meter pallet, 1.3 meter pallets all come with much more power at 1200 newton meters and potentially up to 2000 newton meters if you want. And on show at the Think event in November. Of course. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD online on Twitter.